what's left of the Alamo rental car. It uh, took a pretty bad hit. It just dumped. It was buried there. It shoved the hood over into the fender. Deployed, deployed the side airbags and it deployed the steering wheel airbag. So it made quite a mess of things. Good, the guy did have on oh, the knee bags went off too. So, anyway, he came and got his personal stuff out of it. We'll go from there, get a hold of him. Uh, for, for those of you who watched the video for the car that went through the tied up there at Ledbetter Point, this is the vehicle. I uh, believe the guy came and got his personal stuff out of it. He got all his personal stuff out, and you can see the, the water line. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it got up into the dash. I don't know how deep it got, but oh yeah, it got it got up into the dash, so there's nothing left of it. It's pretty well thrashed out. So we'll file papers on it and get rid of it. The uh, state did have an issue with the front bumper. They ripped the front bumper off getting it out. And they uh, had two two units up there and by the time they got them both on there, that's how much damage they did, but they did get it out. <laughs> this is my motorcycle lineup. Bought that one from Shucks Auto about 10 years ago. I've had that one for oh, about three years now. I don't have time to ride nothing. Harper, where you at? Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Is he over there? Harper, come on, buddy. Get over here. Look out. Go inside. Come on. Get in here. There you go. Yeah, Harper's coming to work for a few days with me here. For those of you who haven't seen him, he's back. What's in the office, aren't you? Oh, good boy. Good boy, aren't you? Oh, 